Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here. We got a video request. If you have a video request, you can go to assholeconsulting.com. Send me your question there. Hi, Cappy. Thanks for the videos. I appreciate your opinion <clears throat> on my country and our politics. This was Trinidad and Tobago, not Tobago. I was mispronouncing it. I watch your video. Don't try until you're 35, and I know how you feel about the idea of those who can't do teach. Do you think there is a scourge of progressive credentialism in the engineering profession? I mean, in Canada, I need to graduate from school, uh, become an engineering intern in training. I graduate from school, yet I'm an intern, and get a P. Get a P.Engineering, seems like a certification, <coughs> and be a member of an engineering body like Apiga or Payo and pay fees. Sounds like the money being paid to say I'm qualified would be better off in my pocket, and then experience should speak for itself, but you can't get experience because the credentials are needed for the job, right? I don't think I want to go to grad school. I think school is boring and can't wait to get out. Given this, is it better to go through this process after getting my BS in chemical engineering or stay in school longer and get a PhD and then look for work potentially wasting time waste time being an electrical an engineering intern in training with a PhD what do you think an email response would be much appreciate it um, well basically uh, here, here's the deal with chemical engineering all fields are being affected by progressive credentialism <clears throat> it's less pronounced in IT and STEM because the employers can't be cocky or flippant about it. They, can't, they, they don't have a flood of chemical engineering majors. Now as more and more people graduate um, and become engineering, the, the market gets flooded, employers can become increasingly picky and petty and arrogant. Um, it's like the hot chick. You know, this is why it's not a coincidence, HR is is the gatekeeper in their witness because the hot chick gets all the guys that she can shoot them down and be kind of a, a pain in the ass. Um, so that, that trend's not going to change, but I would say with chemical engineering, you're one of the more employable, if not the most employable field. Um, and you, your, your starting salaries, your, your median salaries, that's really going to tell you what your prospects and hiring prospects are. And, and chemical engineers, those are still in demand. So it's not going to be as bad uh, but in Canada, it looks like, yeah, you're, you're already starting to get some kind of certifications. In accounting, I mean, good Lord, you could, there was a guy who passed away. He was in the Minnesota CPA. I think it was like first guy or, you know, license number one. Uh, this guy never got a degree in accounting. He just got his CPA. And now you have to, you have, to have master's courses to get your CPA. So this is, this is going to affect it all, but you're in about the best situation you can be. Um, maybe try and apply in the United States or some other place. Because that, that does sound like you got to join a, a guild. You have to join a, join a professional association. Yeah. Come, come to the U.S. Go to places that will actually hire you. Don't, don't limit yourself to, to Canada uh, with a skill like that. Um, yeah, it sucks. That's how it's going to go. But thankfully, you, you majored in the right thing. You're going to have it a heck of a lot easier. I mean, good Lord, I feel actually bad for teachers. The amount of certifications and licensure that you need to just go and teach, it's hilarious. It's just hilarious. And it's just gonna get worse until, you know, somebody gets elected and starts, you know, starts changing laws. And if I was ever president, there would definitely be some, we definitely would be revamping the education system in the United States, so. Anyway, I, I'm sorry, but you're, you're in as good a position as you can be. Try not to let it get you down. It's just, it's just bullshit, that's what you gotta do. Do not, oh, I'm sorry, don't get your PhD. You don't need to go get your PhD in chemical engineering. I mean. Maybe down the road if you want to, but when you graduate with a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering, you should be able to find a job. So best of luck. Toodles.